Assalamu alaikum dear students. I hope you are doing very well inshallah. So this is your professor Saba Uruj and we will start another new lesson of this week. So get started with the name of Allah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim and here we will proceed towards our lesson. This is your notes and you have to learn through these so please manage up yourself with all the required material must place yourself in a peace and calm full corner of your house so you can attend the lecture with full attention so today we will discuss about unit number five atmospheric pressure and circulation this is present on page number 59 to 60 about the related topics the topics are air pressure belts types of cyclone difference between temperature and air pressure and the last topic is the wind system dear students be very vigilant in this lecture because you have to improve your memory and your time management is really important for your studies as your exams are approaching so the page number is 59 please turn over the page to 59 and we will start this lesson first we have the first topic which is about explain the air pressure belts on earth air pressure belts on earth are air pressure belts on earth is explained as following equatorial belt of low pressure subtropical belts of high pressure subpolar belts of low pressure polar belts of high pressure these points are explained in detail in the following Number one, equatorial belt or flow pressure. This is a belt of low pressure air. It is found due to heat about 5 degree on north south of both sides of equator. This belt has summer throughout the year because of heat air becomes light. It moves upward. Number two, subtropical belts of high pressure. These belts have high air pressure. These belts do not have rains due to its heaviness it moves down towards the surface of earth number three subpolar belts of low pressure when cold air strikes with hot humid air the hot air moves upward due to this subpolar belts of low pressure are formed Number 4. Polar belts of high pressure. These belts are on both sides or in polar regions where temperature remains below freezing point throughout the year. So these are the points which explain air pressure belts on earth. Now we have next topic which is about types of cyclone. There are three types of cyclone tropical cyclone temperate cyclone and tornadoes each type of cyclone is explained in detail as under number one tropical cyclone tropical cyclones are formed on oceans because they cause severe loss of lives and materials in coastal areas number two temperate cyclones these cyclones cover large areas as there is a formation of collision between cold polar and a bit hot subpolar winds. Tornadoes. Tornado is a small cyclone. These are heavy black clouds in center. Tornadoes also make disasters. So these are the types of cyclones and their detail. Moving further to the next topic which is about the differentiation between temperature 
and air pressure the temperature and air pressure are related the area where air pressure is low have high temperature on the other hand when it is cold it becomes heavy air pressure increases when air becomes heavy difference between temperature and air pressure is the weight of air is called air pressure temperature the degree of hotness and coldness of a particular place is called temperature number 4 explain the wind system air always travels from area of high pressure to the area of low pressure along the surface of earth the types of winds are as follow permanent winds seasonal winds local winds each point is explained in detail as under permanent winds the winds which blow between the belts of air pressure and these winds are divided into three types eastern winds western winds polar winds seasonal winds are those winds which change their direction with season and known as seasonal winds during 6 months of summer and from dry area to during 6 months of winter that is why these are called seasonal winds because these depend upon seasons in different months of the year local winds are specific and limited land breeze sea breeze valley breeze and mountain breeze are important local winds so this is it for today's lecture now the time for learning task you have to learn these lesson by heart and do a written practice with correct spellings i wish you all the very best for your approaching exams be prepared for your weekly and monthly test that will make you ready and confident for your approaching exams inshallah just take good care of yourself and especially your parents Allah Hafiz